Hello everyone! In this tutorial we explain how to correctly install PyTorch GPU version in Anaconda or Conda virtual environments on Windows computers. Here is the main motivation for creating this tutorial. First of all, it's suggested to install and use PyTorch as well as other Python packages in virtual environments. However, we notice that some people are struggling with installation of PyTorch in virtual environment, and we created this tutorial to clarify all the steps. But before we start with explanations, it's very important to mention the following. First of all, there are two types of Python virtual environments. They are the classical Python virtual environment created by using Python and Venv command, and then we have Anaconda or Conda virtual environments that are created by using Conda create in the name of the environment. Our experience shows that sometimes it is easier to install Python packages and programs in Anaconda or Conda virtual environments, especially if there are a number of dependencies. However, this is our experience, which might not generalize to every case, and you can always try both virtual environments. Let's start with the prerequisites. First of all, you have to have Anaconda installed on your system. You can install Anaconda by visiting this website over here and by downloading Anaconda. Here is the website and it's very easy to download the software. You just have to skip registration or register and you need to select Windows version and then you need to download the file and run the installation file and that's it. Nothing special. After you do that, you have to make sure that you have NVIDIA GPU and that NVIDIA GPU is your, properly installed on your system. To do that, click on Start and search for Command Prompt. And then in the Command Prompt, type this, NVIDIA SMI. And if you see something like this, that is if you see the driver version, if you see this CUDA version and if you see your GPU over here this means that you have GPU on your computer this means that it's NVIDIA and moreover it's properly installed then although it might not be strictly required to run a basic version of PyTorch it's still a good idea to install NVIDIA CUDA compilers and first of all double check if you have them by typing nvcc with double dash and then version and if you see something like this this means that you have actually NVIDIA compilers and it's very important also to remember this version of compiler in my case I'm having CUDA 11.8 and this is also very important for selecting the proper version of PyTorch later on however we notice that even if these compilers are not installed in Python virtual environment, PyTorch might work. However, we have noticed that for some advanced programs, it's also required to have NVIDIA CUDA compiler driver. Consequently, install it. And I will explain how to do it later on. To install NVIDIA CUDA compilers, you actually need to install NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. And over here, you need to select your version. You need to select Windows, then you can follow the line you need to select your architecture, version of Windows, and you can select the executable file and then you need to download and just to click and follow the installation. Nothing special. Simple as that. Here is another prerequisite. On some computers and in some scenario, after installing PyTorch and while importing PyTorch in Python, you might see this error. OS error, Win error 126, the specified module could not be found. And to fix this problem, you need to download and install Visual Studio with C++. Consequently, before even installing PyTorch, make sure that Visual Studio is installed. There is a free community version of Visual Studio compilers, and you need to go to this link, which will be provided below, and install Visual Studio with C++. You need to go to this website and over here you need to select the Community Edition and you need to download 
the community edition and the executable file and you need to install it. This will install Visual Studio as well as Visual Studio C++ compilers that are sometimes necessary to run PyTorch. So make sure that you do that. Okay, now we are ready to explain the installation procedure. The first step is to open an Anaconda prompt. Why do we need to open an Anaconda prompt and not terminal? Namely, in my case, after installing Anaconda, I noticed that Anaconda and Conda are not in the Windows path. For example, if I type Conda over here in the ordinary terminal, it's not going to be recognized. And there is a good reason for that. Since I don't want to mess up my Python paths with Anaconda path and everything. So I want to keep everything separate. That's why it's always suggested to use an Anaconda prompt when you want to create an Anaconda virtual environments. To start the Anaconda prompt, you need to click over here and search for Anaconda prompt. And here it is. It's the same as the ordinary Windows prompt. After you open Anaconda prompt, you will see base written over here. This means that you're in the base environment. First of all, let's go to the base C folder by typing this. Then over here, let's create our test folders. First of all, create a folder called codes. Execute this command. I will not execute this command since I already have codes on my system. Then after that, you need to navigate to the codes and in the codes, you need to create another folder, which will be the base folder of our project. I will call the folder simply as test PyTorch. However, you can also use some other name. And then navigate to that folder. And in this folder, we will create our virtual environment. To create Conda virtual environment, you need to execute Conda create with an option N and you need, to, you need to give the name to your environment. I will call the environment as environment1. And over here, you need to wait. Proceed, yes, and this will create our environment. Good. So let's activate this environment. To do that, you need to type conda, activate, and the name of the environment. And now, instead of base, you will see environment one. This means that you're currently in environment one and you can install PyTorch over here. If you now type conda list, you will see that there are no packages that are currently being installed. To install PyTorch, you need to go to this website and if you scroll down, you need to find this selection table. This selection table will enable you to generate the command for installing PyTorch. First of all, select the stable version, then select Windows, then it's very important over here to select Conda, then select Python, and over here you have several options for choosing your CUDA version. I will choose CUDA 11.8, mainly because that CUDA version is consistent with my CUDA compiler that's installed by going to this website and installing the CUDA toolkit. Notice that this current version is 12.6 for the CUDA toolkit. However, you can also search for the older version. And my suggestion is to try to match this CUDA version for PyTorch with this CUDA version. Although this, is, this might not be necessary in this project, in some more advanced projects where it might be necessary to compile directly some CUDA files outside of PyTorch, it's good to have a match between this CUDA version and CUDA version that's running with PyTorch. Okay, so here I will select CUDA 11.8 and this command will be generated. I will take this command then I will go back to my terminal or Anaconda prompt and I will run this. And this should install PyTorch. Now, I have to warn you about the following. Now here, before I warn you, press yes. This will take about several minutes to install. 
The reason is that complete PyTorch that includes Torch Vision, Torch Audio, and PyTorch is around 3 GB. And consequently, this whole package needs to be downloaded and installed. So be patient over here. After several minutes, PyTorch will be installed. And to verify installation, let's type conda list. And this command should list all the installed packages. And you can see that not only PyTorch is installed, but also a number of other packages, which is also very important. These packages are the prerequisites for running PyTorch. Now we are ready to write a simple Python code that will test this installation. Your task is to open your favorite Python editor. In my case, I will be using Visual Studio Code. To install Visual Studio Code, I created a separate video tutorial and you can watch it. I will provide that tutorial in the description below this video. To start Visual Studio Code, I will simply type code dot. And then over here, I need to type this Python code. Let me copy it and let's go to Visual Studio Code. Yes, I trust the authors. File, new file, I will call the file test1.py. Save the code in inside of this folder and here's the code this code will try to import torch then it's going to detect the device it's going to detect gpu if gpu is available and it's going to print the device then it's going to get the device number it will print the device number and it will also print the gpu name if everything goes smoothly, that is, if PyTorch is properly installed, you should see device number and the name of your GPU. Okay, so let's save this file and let's execute this file. There are, there are several approaches for executing this file. In Visual Studio Code, you can press Control shift p then type Python, select interpreter, and over here, it's very important to select interpreter that matches this environment. Here it is. And now we can run the code and let's see the output. So over here, we have to be patient and to see what is happening. And you can see using device CUDA, current device number is zero. And I'm getting my GPU over here, which means that everything is properly installed. Another approach for running this code, and this approach might be useful if you're, for example, using Notepad or some other Python editor, is to simply run this code. To run this code from the Anaconda prompt, you simply need to type Python test1.py and you will be able to see a similar result. That is, you'll see CUDA and NVIDIA GeForce. Okay, this means that we have properly installed PyTorch. Now, I will close Visual Studio Code, and before I conclude this video tutorial, I have to warn you about the following. After you install PyTorch, inside of this environment, this whole environment will be huge. It's going to be very big. So let's type conda info to see a few things over here, which are not completely relevant for this this uh, video, however, you can still obtain some useful information over here. You can see that the path to the active environment is given over here. And notice that this path is not inside of our test PyTorch folder. That is, Anaconda has a special place where it stores all the package files. Now, if you investigate this folder over here, and environment one, you will see that environment one is huge, even maybe five gigabyte. And it's very good to erase it properly if you're not using this environment. If you type conda info environments, you can see all the environments. And here's our environment. First of all, exit our environment by typing this. 
okay you don't need to type this you can just type cont at deactivate and we are back in the base environment to erase our environment we need to type this cont remove name specify the name of environment and remove everything and this should erase everything and now be patient since this will also take some time after doing this, we need to double check that our environment is erased and that the disk space is freed. Okay, just wait a little bit till everything is erased. Erased. And let's wait. Then you will be asked once more, do you want to erase everything? So press yes. And you can see that this folder over here is erased. To make sure that everything is erased, type conda, info, and environments, and you should see that environment one doesn't exist anymore. Okay, that's all for today, and thanks for watching.